Rebecca has said, I had to include one type of licorice, lol. These are jellies. They're yeah. really thick. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we're back with another Icelandic box. We recently received a massive box from Rebecca and we've broken it out into a couple of videos and this is part two. Yes, and I'm super excited because today's selection looks amazing. It looks really exciting. Especially starting with that bag of popcorn. I don't know why, but I never really go to a shop and pick popcorn. Really? But sometimes just looking at it, I'm like, oh yes. Do you think that could be cheddar, Al? It looks like it could be. Okay, before I get too excited, just a reminder, this is the wonderful Rebecca. And also Rebecca is a wonderful artist. This is East Iceland. She's painted that for us. So Rebecca is from Iceland and has just sent an array of things for us to try. And today it's kind of snacky and we've got some teas in there. But before we start, she sent us some goodies. She's got a hat for you. Oh. And a scarf for me. How funny, this says island. Is that what Iceland is in Iceland? To them, is it island? Oh, and we say that... Iceland. How do we say it now? I'm confused now. We say Iceland. Iceland. But that says Island. Island. How funny. Yeah. Yeah, got my Island hat on. I think that's awesome. It's I cool really hat, like isn't it? that. It's really yeah. good shape. I like it. And I got a scarf, which I would love to wear in this video, but putting this jumper on was a really bad decision. So I'm absolutely baking in here. It's quite warm, it's isn't really it? It's really hot. It's a nice scarf though. It is, look at that. Keep... It's nice because it's like very simple and black, but then you just wrap in the flag there. Yeah. Eastland. Eastland. Is Eastland. Eastland. So we Eastland. say Iceland, Eastland. but actually it's Eastland. Eastland. Yeah, Isn't that funny? Like, do you guys get really annoyed that we say Iceland? Like, How often everyone do they hear us? I know yeah. say Iceland. Yeah. But and the capital city Eastland. is Reykjavik, as we know. Eastland. Eastland. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. Eastland. I like, I like that. that. This is awesome. Absolutely love this. Thank you so much, Rebecca. And finally, we've got a mug each, which is perfect for today because we've got lots of teas to try. Oh, it's a Cirrus. Oh, look, slightly different colours. Is it from Noi Cirrus? I think it's their Christmas mugs. And look, there's a recipe on the back. Yeah, that's cool. I really like the shape of these. I think this is for hot like chocolate. It's a really cozy nice. shape, isn't it? Because it kind of like bulbs out at the bottom. So we've got a few loose leaf teas, I think these are. So we'll have to um, make Give them, them in here. Give them a try today. Yeah. yeah, great. But first, can we crack open this popcorn? Because I'm hungry and this popcorn looks amazing. Staring at me. <laughs> and I think it might be cheddar. It does look like it's got a cheesy coating. Like, doesn't just it? look there. So Rebecca has given us a little booklet. Some of the things she talks about, other things we're just left to our own devices. Not cheese, is it? Light cheese. Hmm. Mm. Definitely salty. Yeah, maybe there is a light cheese in this. Mm, yum. Wonder where you get this from. Is this from like a supermarket or is this its own brand mm. or? In some ways, with the big ball, it kind of looks mm. like a circus. Delicious. So it's something you might got at a fair. Mm, oh, that's the one. Very pillowy. Kijorn, uh, Osta, Pop, Fersk, Sovo, Pau, Braca. Oh, it says cheddar. Oh, well. But it isn't as strong as some of those cheddars we've had from like America, no, is it? No, it's just got a very mild mm. cheddar powder and the powder's really nice. We have sent Rebecca a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try one of our British candy boxes, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, if like us, you're into trying food from around the world, it's a great way to help support the channel. Yeah, definitely. Now, I don't know if these are the same flavours or if they're slightly different packaging. You know how sometimes yeah. brands do that. And these are called Coco Milk, which I guess is just chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. These look really fun. I like these little cartons. Mm. Chocolate milk? Chocolate milk. Mm. I think it is the same. It's just got a different picture on the front. Whoa, that's chocolatey. That's really yummy though, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Do you know what that reminds me what? of? And I mean this in a nice way. You know the chocolate out of, oh, I was gonna say Burger King, but do you know what? That's reminding me of when we used to be in America and get like, what was that brand? Was it Wendy's? We used to get like a frost couple. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Wendy, what's a Wendy's thing called? Like a, a frost bite or something. 
Yeah. Do you remember that time when we were on holiday? And I think it might have been before we went on a cruise mm. and we found like this Wendy's yeah. and it wasn't like a milkshake and it wasn't an ice cream. It was kind of in the middle. Yeah. That tastes like that. And I've not had that taste in my head for so long. Although with the popcorn still in my mouth, that makes me think of, um, you know, when you have like a Burger King milkshake and you have some fries. Chips. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the best way to enjoy <laughs> yeah. a milkshake. Dip your fries in or just like, especially if they're salty. Yeah. The saltier the better. That's really delicious. Yeah, it's really good. The chocolate it? milk, and out of all of the chocolate milks we've been sent for, that's going like up there. I never would drink a chocolate milk. No. But I see them every now and then. I think, oh, that actually looks really good. Mmm, what are you giving that out of I'm 10? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give it's that good. a 9 really? because I'm not always, I would always pick vanilla. Yeah. A bit vanilla. <laughs> that is delicious. Do you really mean vanilla or do you just mean milk? <laughs> I mean, I'm a bit basic. That's no, what I, I mean. What you mean. Oh, yeah, milk. No, would you rather have the milk or would you actually rather have the milk flavoured vanilla? Yeah. Yeah, you would. Yeah. All right, go. Okay. Here are the teas. We've got three. Yeah. I'm Magnolia pomegranate. I'll let you read this one. <laughs> this is Jard Arbor Hin Hindber. I feel like we've heard Hindber before. Hindber, yeah. Is that like strawberry or raspberry or something? And we've got Stock Ross Hibiscus. Oh, nice. I'm loving the packets. Yeah, really cool. Just plain, Just nice simple, simple, white, and it's nice, got a coloured leaf. Should we smell them all yeah. and you choose That's which cool. we I've open? Never, I've never had a loose leaf hibiscus before. So oh, that's like really yeah, it's cool. always been in tea bag. Yeah. Do you know what's cool about this is I, I don't drink coffee, but I feel like I'm part of the coffee team now because don't you think coffee always comes in bags yeah. like these? And also because you generally do stuff with coffee. Yeah. It's like teas tea. a lot of the time, Chuck just the tea bag. bag. Whereas with loose leaf and you're putting it in the little strainer, yeah, it feels like it feels you're actually like, having yeah, to partake. A, like a barista. Wow, well, look nice. at that Al in there. Ooh, lovely. She pretty. Mmm. You know those... That's um, nice. Was it the hibiscus, dried hibiscus we had from Trader, Trader Joe's? Trader Joe's. That pomegranate smells lovely. Oh my word. Do you know what Hinber is? Wow. It smells like bubble gum. Smell that. Oh wow. That's so strong. That is really strong. I think actually that's my favourite smell. This, out of the three of them? Out of the yeah, three. Yeah, that and then the hibiscus. Wow. Right, what two should we do? I reckon, let's do the magnolia pomegranate. We've had hibiscus. Yeah, because like we've had that from yeah. quite a few places. That smells incredible. Here's the uh, hinbe. And I have the pomegranate, magnolia pomegranate. Shall we try something while we just wait for that? Yes, what would you like? Um, What are these bland? This. I pop. This here is one of the most interesting things ever. I think it's pick -a mix Oh, cool. <laughs> so it's like a whole bag of pick -a mix Yes. Well, that's pretty fun, isn't it? Oh, we've seen this brand before this. How would you Koa. say that? Koa, is it? 1968. Like. Oh, is it a G? Goa. Goa. I think it's a G. And this has literally got so many different things in here. Yeah, that's really cool. There's like chocolate bits as well, Al. So yeah. I'm so excited to open these. Oh, oh, I love stuff like that. Oh my God. Look at that little watermelon. Like a nice selection, isn't it? Look at that. So we've got like sweets, we've got chocolate bits. That's what I thought might be licorice. Oh no, like, like, like a toffee like a ball. Mmm. Mmm, mm, nice. Look at that. I love it when you get chocolate in pick a mix because it's almost got like a, a bit of sweet sweetness on it. Try that watermelon now. I'm gonna try this one here as well. These are awesome. Mm. Uh, do you think that's licorice? The cola bottle. Try one of those chocolate balls, they're really good. Mm. It's like fudgy. Yeah, I know it's what you mean. It's a dark ball there, and a long one. Oh, although licorice. What's that? Oh, it's one of those ones. That I like. You know the pencils? The rhubarb. But is the outside licorice? No. There must be something licorice in there, because I am getting a slight taste this is of it licorice. Here. Is it? What's that? You found the jackpot. I found the jackpot. Well, that one there you're going to mm. love. Oh, these are phenomenal. That's a good selection, isn't it? Oh, this is so good because everything is different. Wow, this cola bottle is mm. amazing. It's really oh. soft. That's good, isn't it? That orange is Was really orange? nice. Yeah. But like not just I orange. I had a blue. Like, almost like a satsuma or something. Mm. Mm. These are incredible. I think that might be licorice, Al. Oh, yeah, looks it. Wow. They're great. They're amazing because they really are pick a mix. And that's the thing, sometimes like getting the sweets nice, but pick a mix is just amazing because you've got like a bit of chocolate, yeah. a bit of fruit, a bit of. And it's cool, it comes in one bag. You can just buy that from the shop. Whereas 
you don't always want to necessarily pick your pick yeah. and mix as well. And pick and mix is usually more expensive as well. Mm. Where um, whereas if it's already pre-made, it might not be as expensive. But yeah. I really like how one thing kind of contaminates another yeah. thing, and you like get that flavour. And even though I'm not the massive fan of licorice, I like that I could taste some licorice on there. Yeah. I like the aftertaste. Oh, I'm giving those ten out of ten. I love them. I'm gonna give them nine out of ten. I th I really like it, and I really like the idea. But I think maybe I'll go some nine. other yeah. sweet short yeah. flavours. Ooh. Shall I decamp my tea? Yeah. This is where it's going to happen if it happens. God, there's some real big chunks in there. I bought this for Al um, years ago. Yeah. For one of your birthdays. For Christmas on my birthday, yeah. Um, it was when I was in my last green tea phase. My yeah, because you had a break, didn't you? Green tea phase. Well, I had a coffee phase. Now, now I've kind back of eased back slightly on the coffee, and I'm a bit more of green tea. Oh, that was the perfect amount. Yeah. But should I be taking this out? Yeah, she should. Yeah. Is it too hot? I don't know. Well, I brewed it at ninety. Cheers. So it should be okay. Mm. So I'm on the Jar Darba Hind Bear, and which I'm is on lovely. the Magnolia Pomegranate. How is Could it? Have a switch. Oh, that smells delicious. Oh, nice. That mm. is really floral, mm. isn't it? What sort of flavour would you say that is then? It is, um, it's like a sweet and berry, wouldn't you say? Mm. Berries. I don't know which berry specifically. But I like this. And there is kind of a sweetness in this from the pomegranate, but there's also a floral note from the mm. um, magnolia. magnolia. Ooh. Okay. Out of the two, I might just put the hinder, hinder, just slightly top. What about you? I think I'd actually go the other way and I'd give it to the Magnolia oh, Pomegranate. Delicious. This tastes more like tea I've had before yeah. and it tastes like tea. Oh, well, should we get a biscuit going while we're yes. on these? Now, Rebecca says on this, very good for dunking. I love them with rhubarb. Mm. And then she says, these have been the nation's favourite for decades. Fron. Fron. We tried a few from this brand oh. in her first <laughs> box. 1926. Wow. wow, that's chunky. It's almost like a milk biscuit, but really chunky, boy. It's like a water cracker, you know, yeah, that we have that's from Jamaica. It, yeah. No wonder they're good for dunking. They probably absorb so much. I think it's absorbed half my cup of tea. Is that not just going to be really soggy? No, because it, it's so thick, it isn't actually. I don't think I dunk for long enough, to be honest. No. Now that it's open, it yeah. might. I think that's awesome that a really kind of plain biscuit is the nation's favourite. Mm. So do you get like the flavour of the tea? Maybe Iceland are a nation of dunkers. You can go live there then. Mm. Oh, it's almost got a bit of a um, rusk. I saw a packet of rusks in Tesco the other day and I thought me. about you. you. Should have picked them up for me. It I does. hate dunking, but actually that biscuit works. It really does, doesn't because, it? Because like you say, it's a really thick biscuit so I can get that nice softness, but mm. I can still have a crunch. Mm. It's not just a soggy, soggy biscuit, is it? No, and it holds its flavour as well. It's not like you lose the flavour of the biscuit. Mm. 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 That is lovely. I like that. It actually turns it into a bit of like a sponge cake. Mm. Yeah, it's like when you put those fingers in like a tiramisu yeah, or lady a trifle. Fingers. I think I prefer them dunked because on their own, they're just like a, a plain biscuit. Yeah. Whereas in with that, it really does it soak really up turns, the flavour. Yeah. Do you want to try dunk it in this? Because it'll oh, be a yeah. different flavour. Do you want to try dunk in mine? I've run out of biscuit. Oh, thanks, Kate. That's very kind of you. I dunked for too long. Mm. Mm. That's almost like dessert though, isn't it? That makes it taste like there's jam in the middle. Mm. Really fruity, doesn't it? That's lovely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you can almost taste a tea more in the biscuit <laughs> than in the mug. Maybe the sweetness brings it out. Mm, maybe. Mm. Well, that's a win. Although they're very plain, I think I'm going to have to give them 10 out of 10. You can't fault them. They're not the most exciting biscuit. No. But they have a really good flavour, really solid crunch, and they're great for dunking. For so. dunkability, I'm giving 10 out of 10. Mm. And dipping into that hind burr, it makes it really taste like jam. But the mm. biscuit itself, I'm probably just going to give like a seven and a half because yeah, it's not like a, a chocolate coated, yeah. you know, I decadent. You mean, do you yes. know what I mean? Mm. Okay, well, you'll be excited now. It's not a biscuit, but it's a wafer. Woohoo! Lindu. Lindu Iskex. K 
text must be like biscuit or something, Dragon. Now it's funny because we've had wafers, but not like in this form before. It's oh. like in a bag. And look, Dragon I thought there. maybe it was a multi-pack, but there's a barcode on there. Do you reckon they're in like a bit of a tray? Yeah, feels like it. Ooh, I wonder oh, what flavor did you think that was gonna be? Vanilla. It's like, is that lemon? Yeah, I think so. You don't often get a lemon wafer. No. Now this wafer really look, whoa, they're thin. How funny, because normally when you get a wafer- They're double. It's a bit more like that, isn't it? That is good. Mmm. Now this wafer is more like a wafer. You know when you go to like an ice cream parlor, you can pay one pound extra for the waffle cone. It's like, no thank you, just the normal. Mm. It's like something that gets put in your Sunday. Yeah. I thought this was gonna be overpowering with lemon. Is it even lemon? Yeah, it's definitely lemon. It's got a lovely flavour. Doesn't the cream almost taste cold on your tongue? Yeah. Well, it's always like chocolate or hazelnut. Yeah. It feels really fresh on well, the tongue. Well, it's a bit like those, um, we had those Dutch wafers And in what Canada. was in there? Remember, oh, they were the... like a lemon orange. They and were they were orange. like sour in a way, yeah. weren't they? Almost like, a, no, they're the ones um, from Germany. Oh, with the sherbet in. With the sherbet, yeah, that's with what like the oh, drinking stuff. Oh, you're talking about the Canada ones that had um, the lady on. Yeah, the Dutch biscuits. Yeah from Canada. Dutch bakery, aren't they called? That's it, and yeah, we had Dutch like um, peach cobbler or something. Yeah. Okay, do you want to go down the route of chocolate or get licorice out of the way? I think get licorice out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca has said, I had to include one type of licorice, lol. These are jellies. Now these little people look familiar, but I don't think we had them chocolate coated. And this is noise serious, isn't it? They're yeah. really thick. No, it's growing on me. I think if you're gonna have licorice, cover it in chocolate at least. Well, remember, we got that bar that looked like a chomp. Mm. A chocolate round with licorice, and we were kind of like, just leave the licorice out. Yeah. I would say that's probably one of the best licorice things I've had, and I've finished half of it. I've eat, actually mm. eaten it. The chocolate's nice on there, the texture's nice, and the licorice isn't too strong. One moment, I was a little bit like, is the salt gonna be like, yeah. ugh? But actually, actually, it was quite bad. mild, wasn't quite it? Quite mellow, yeah. Quite mellow. It seems to get stronger, but especially at the beginning, yeah. it's very mellow. I, I, I probably couldn't eat a whole bag. <laughs> yeah, no. But actually, you didn't kill us off. No, we're making inroads on the we licorice. Are. We are. Ville Corteau. This is Freesia with the mean? cat. In our first Icelandic box, we had lots oh. of this cat. The black cat with like a crown on. Yeah. Caramella, corn, corn is that like cornflakes? Maybe. Kex, biscuit, I reckon. Kex is. This looks really good. I reckon good. that middle word is like crispies. Yeah, like, like the rice crispies. I feel like this bar screams you. Is this, you go first. Is out. this like a Mr. Big? Looks like it, doesn't it? That's oh, really yummy. I'm causing a bit of a mess. Mmm. Lovely, sweet, crunchy. It's not just Rice Krispies, is it? You won't be able to see there, but there's like an outside ring here. Yeah, that like semicircle, what is that? That almost tastes like wafer. It's like a wafer dome. No. And then in the middle, under that, there's caramel, caramel isn't it? Caramel, and then I think a bit more Krispies, Krispies. and chocolate. That That's is... like, you know the top of a Kinder Bueno? Mm. Just a thin wafer. Mmm. Yeah. That is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, what are you giving that out of 10? I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. Yeah. If not, I kind of think it's verging on a 12 out of 10. That's delicious. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. I thought the caramel was lovely, the wafer was lovely, and the chocolate was lovely. Mm. Now, speaking of chocolate, we're in for a treat. We've got these two bars, which are the same thickness, and we just got these. <laughs> oh, is this how they get big bars in Iceland? Rather than having like our big oh, Cadbury, because these are two bars in each. Now that makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? Because that is only actually 200 grams. The whole thing? The whole thing. That's 200 grams. Seems Whereas like quite our 200 it? gram bar would be like this big, wouldn't yeah. it? And just one layer. It makes sense because I feel like this is less likely to break. And these are all from Lindu. I don't think it is, but this is giving off vibes of like cooking chocolate in a yeah. way. It's very simple, isn't it, yeah. in its presentation. Whereas I feel like over here, especially in America, it's like, the jazzier packet, the better. Yeah. And like really trying to advertise to you. Oh, this is Goa as well. Oh yeah. White sweet milk chocolate. Not like it. No, oh, I do like it. Like, it's not like our milk chocolate here. How's the white chocolate? Nice. You might think it's quite sweet. At first it was a bit chalky. Mm. Then it really came together. Kind of tastes like, you know when you get those dips with the little like French bread? Mm. Kind of giving me that yeah. vibe. It's really nice white chocolate. Do you know actually. what it goes nice with? 
tea. Yeah, because it's almost like, oh, a, like a berry. A, a white chocolate and raspberry or something. I think mm. the white chocolate might be my favourite. Bit of dark chocolate? I see what you mean. That's like advent calendar chocolate. Yeah, I understand what you mean by that, but it's kind of nicer than that. It's really it sweet for that. milk, I think. Yeah, it's, it, yeah is it is sweet different. for milk. Now that's sweet for dark chocolate. Oh, it's got a lovely flavour as well. Isn't it funny? I wonder what the milk content is on that as well, because none of them really like melt in your mouth. They're all quite chalky. Yeah. But then the flavour, like you said, really comes together. It kind of like yeah. melts it, onto it, your it tongue. It always tastes like, it takes like a little bit. Mm. And you need to like bite it all up first. That's probably one of the nicer dark chocolates I've tried. Oh. And I think that's because it's quite it's sweet. It's so sweet, yeah. I might prefer that to the milk chocolate because it's got more of a chocolate flavour. Yeah. More of like a pow. Yeah. Mm. But it's because the milk chocolate's so sweet, so you kind of like lose but the chocolate. But it is, it flavor. is nice though. Yeah. That. Ready to guess what this is? Yep. The orange, please. I think so. Mm. Mm. That's nice. I do think with orange, like as long as you've got a good orange flavour, mm. which is just natural. Yeah. I think you can make any chocolate taste good. Because well, Terry's think? is really sweet chocolate, isn't yeah. it? It's not milk chocolate with a bit of orange. It is sweet. I'm so glad that's orange. Because of that colour, I kind of thought it might be salted caramel or something. That was delicious. Yeah, that's delicious. I that's am... my favourite one. I'm going to go orange, dark, milk, white. And I'm going 10, 9, 7, 6. Yeah, I'm going orange top as well, 12 out of 10. The white's really delicious, nine. And then actually dark chocolate next. Can mm. you believe it's going above milk? I'll probably just give that a seven. Yeah. And then I'll give the milk just like a six. Okay. But that orange chocolate is fabulous. Yeah. We'll have to hide that away and give some to mum. Really oh, nice. Do you know what I think I found? And I'm sure you'll say the same. I don't like it cold, but when it's like lukewarm, I can really now taste the flavour even more. Delicious. Well, she's done it again. She's done it again. Rebecca, what a fabulous box. A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> treat of the week. I think my treat of the week is going to have to be this bar here. Right. This is absolutely delicious. So yummy. I love that. But I will also say the tea has the tea. been very the nice. The tea yeah. is delicious. Yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah, that goes without saying. Yeah. I think my treat of the week. Sorry, I'm doing two. These. Because I very think good. this is just like a really awesome selection. And this is just really lovely, smooth, creamy. Yeah. And the orange flavor is delicious. I really do think they've used an orange oil. Yeah. Rather, I don't know if it's, it doesn't say, but... You can't read no. Iceland, I love Although the way you're looking. Although it does looking. say, um, store in a cool and dry place. It does say everything. Oh, it does. And it says, may butter. contain traces of hazelnuts and almonds. Oh yeah, it says GB ingredients. Read there, you Wally. No way. I thought it was like one <laughs> in Iceland, one in England. Yeah. Now, before we go, I'd like to point out something else Rebecca has bought for us. Ta da well, Let's not pretend any of them are for me. Let's just... <laughs> Well, I didn't want to be selfish, <laughs> but I think they are for me. <laughs> but I'll share them around. Yeah, fine. Rebecca has sent us so many Ziploc bags, and maybe it's because she knows I like them, or maybe yeah. she doesn't. But we have got, and I didn't realise, these are from Ikea. Each one has two different sizes. We've got 15 6 litre and 15 4.5 oh, litres. So you've got two different sizes in there. Oh, that's and really they've got handy. like a different colour on top, so you know. Yeah. In here, we've got 25 2.5 litres wow. and 1.2 litre times 25. And then we have got some little ones, 30 little times one litre and 30 times 0.4. So um, can we just get out one of the largest? Yeah. These look awesome. That's such a good idea, having like two different sizes in what? Oh, look at those colours. It's like a mermaid. Ooh. Pretty wow. decent size, isn't it? Now this is good because we don't really have any bags like this. And sometimes we want to put like our bread in and stuff, yeah. don't we? And then what do we think? This is the smallest. I love the colours. Quite the size difference, eh? Yeah. This is amazing. These are absolutely amazing, Rebecca. Thank you so much. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching. We have sent Rebecca a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. If you didn't know, Alex and I create British candy boxes so you can try them wherever you are in the world. We ship pretty much everywhere. Or you can send one to friends and family. Yeah, and it's a great way to help support the channel and keep us making these videos. But we hope you guys enjoyed watching 
watching and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.